All right, welcome everybody to episode one of Max Garage, part of the Car Simulator, Car Mechanic Simulator series. Uh, real quick, like uh, this video is probably going to be a little bit lengthy as we start going here. Um, let's uh, act, first of all let's answer the phone, and we're going to start off by uh, taking this guy here, and actually. Uh, Let's see, we'll have to move him to the lift here real quick. So anyway, this is an all-new series. Um, I have played this game before up to level 24, I believe it is. And as you can tell, let's take a look around here. Uh, we start out with uh, $4,000. One lift. One oil drain pan. One toolbox, which is where you level your character up. An engine stand. A computer. A phone. I can answer the phone here. I can answer it through the wheel here, right there. Uh, let's see. What else do we have in the shop here? Uh, spring, uh, spring compressor, a tire changer, and a tire balancer, and again another toolbox. So the toolboxes are scattered all about to uh, make it really easy to level up, I suppose. <laughs> uh, let's see. So here's the plan. This uh, this stuff takes a really long time I mean hours and hours to do and I think the uh, my my, uh, my thoughts are for this series is to we'll just go into the toolbox here real quick is to do a video every five levels okay and uh, you can see that we get we get a skill point for each level so we're at level one right now. Up in the right-hand corner, you see next to the little orange one. That's our level. We have zero experience points, two phone calls, and four thousand dollars. So for every level we go up, we get a skill point. Some of these skill points, um, I've with my previous playing, uh, they're not really worth it. Uh, the ones that are worth it to me are you get better discounts from shops. Uh, this faster um, dismantling and and reassembling of parts expanding the garage of course and uh, these repair options are going to be really uh, they'll be helpful later on when we start uh, building cars from scratch now the only thing that might change is of course stuff like this anytime we get more money that's that's a good idea is if I come across a unique vehicle, I may just do an impromptu video. But for the most part, what we're going to do is we're going to stick to videos concerning these uh, story missions. Um, if you noticed uh, right in the beginning when I answered the phone, it was a mission in blue. And you always pretty much know it's a story mission when you look in this screen here. When it says repair with minimal parts condition 100%. And uh, this particular one tells us everything that we need to know. It tells us that uh, we need four new tires, an air filter, a fuel filter, and change the oil. Now, the way the game kind of works out is up on the upper right there, you've got experience points in an off-green color. You get one point for every reassembled part. So, you know, you don't get a part, you don't get a point for every lug nut. You get a point for one tire or one rim with tire on it and so forth so you don't get uh, you know you don't get a point for every bolt you reattach you get a point for every item or every part that's reattached so that's how that works and the thing about it is if you blow it and you forget something and you gotta tear the whole front end out put it all back together you get points for that too so I suppose it would behoove you to maybe screw up on occasion if you're trying to get your your character to level up. But as your character levels up, your XP requirements also go up. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to have to do is actually move this car over to the left. And this is our wheel. So we have an inventory. Right now we have nothing. We have uh, tune parts. Let's you change electric, uh, special part settings. I don't haven't got to that far yet. Uh, car settings. This tells you uh, what you have to do, what repair conditions are supposed to be met, money spent, your task bonuses, your job bonus, and your total payout. It'll also tell you if you forgot to put a part on there when you hit the finish order thing. 
All right. Then you have interior disassemble. We're not going to have to worry about that for quite a while. Assembly mode, which is put stuff back together, and then move car, and then overview mode, which lets you see all these items in red need to be changed as they were identified by the car's owner. Sometimes you'll run into stuff that you have to find on your own, and you do that through testing. Anyway, so let's get started here. Let's move the car to the lift. All right, and since we moved it to the lift, we can actually take this second phone call, and we'll take this Maserati, which is... Boy, we got uh, we got our choices. Brake problems or poor brake performance. Uh, let's just take that one. That will automatically put it in the garage here. Again, that was not a story mission, and you can also tell that by looking at your thing. Story missions are in blue, and they don't have a countdown timer like these do. So, anyways, let's get started. First thing we need to do is get this thing up on the lift. Now, as I go through this, uh, we might think about how we want to approach this, this series. Do you want me to look up some uh, car history? and Maybe we can talk about that as we go through and tear this thing apart or do you want to uh, just don't care and just zip through there uh, there are several places that we can go eventually as well uh, so first of all let's move the equipment when oops not back because it's already in the same spot nice job Mac okay so my first two times playing this I did not know how to use the drain pan and I dumped oil out on the floor and it cost me a hundred bucks anyway so this isn't too difficult we we'll use the equipment it drains out dirty oil while well, that's doing it. Let's get smoking. We're going to have to change uh, two tires. Or all four tires. I'm sorry. And it's really slow going. Until we can level up. Let's check and see what else we're supposed to do. Just the tires. Just the filters. Okay. So we get out of there. Now we just move this thing back. That means that uh, the, the oil is automatically drained. Now, it's a simulator. Yes, it's not perfect. There are some parts that are going to be a little... If you're a car person, you'll be like, what the heck is going on with that mess? But don't worry about it. Actually, I found it reasonably decent as far as accuracy. Some things I questioned. But uh, when we get into some really the sweet cars... We'll probably do that. We'll get some Zondas in here, and we really want to take a look at those because they, although the graphics aren't good and the test track is questionable at best, it's really nice. All right, so what we need to do here is uh, we're going to separate uh, on our tire separator, and we want to make sure we see the type of tire and the size. This is a Rim Lots 205-55R16. Make sure they're all the same size because some cars will have different sizes for front and rear. These are all the same, so we'll just take it apart. I'm going to collect it. Take those. Separate more. Now, while that's doing that, whoops, let's go and check out our inventory here. So, we need new tires. So we'll just put uh, down here at the bottom, it says add to shopping list. So we'll just add that to the shopping list. Um, we're only required to do the tires, although those rims don't look very good. Well, we'll see if we can, uh, we'll see if we can just do what the customer wants here. So while that's doing that, let's go ahead and go, oh, we have to go over to the phone. I don't have the the uh, tablet that I can just order parts with. I did have that and I will get that really soon because that is very handy. As it is right now, we have to run over to the phone or to the computer right over here and uh, order the parts. So we go under tires, look up our shopping list over on the standard tire B. Oop, and I already forgot the size. So we better go back and look. It is a 205-55R16. Okay, standard tire B, 16. We need four of them, 205, 55, R16. Take that, great, got that done. Run back here. Now the movements are a little bit slow, a little bit clunky. We don't have any, we don't have to do that anymore, so that's good, we can reinstall parts. Yes, 
click here. All right, so we've earned four XP so far. Take that. Now what we want to do is just run over here real quick and put that on the wheel balancer so we can have two things going at once. Somewhat of uh, multitasking. But the the uh, the tire changer actually gets done well ahead of the tire balancer. So but we'll take this off. Why this? Put that on there. While that's doing that, we can run back over here. Switch to assembly part or assembly mode. Oops. This is really slow. <laughs> I got up to the 100% faster uh, assembly, and uh, so this is this is uh, terribly slow. Oops. Not separate. Take this off. Put a new on. Something's getting in the way. Yeah, you should probably do a star pattern, but that's just some of the limitations of the game. It's not a big deal. The game says, uh, I can't be bothered with that kind of stuff, so that's okay. Alright, good. Now we're at 6 XP. We'll get a bonus XP when the job gets finished as well. I think it, it depends on your level. I think I seen 150 XP at one point. I typically didn't remember because I was just in such a hurry to get on to the next car and get on to the next section. So I can get some more uh, experience. Alright, so to start off with we only need 300 XP so that's, uh, that's pretty decent. All right, very good. Now, we got all the tires on. You can always check your progress by being over the car, flipping over to car status. Uh, we need an air filter, a fuel filter, and change the oil. So we'll drop this back down. We'll find an air filter and a fuel filter under the hood of this particular car. We should anyways. Now these little things here, these little clips here, these annoy me. I mean, as much as the game actually uh, skimps on some of the other things, the other ways that things happen, to make me take these little clips off is, is just incorrigible. Alright, get that one. These are really hard to uh, get lined up here. Phone's ringing. We got that. Now we can go to an examine mode, and we're going to... Go ahead and do that. And see, that's uh, that tells you where you're. Some things you can examine right away. Some things like that you have to take off. All right. So we need to take out the fuel filter. Good. Okay. So let's check our inventory and see what parts we have. We need just a standard air filter and a standard fuel filter. So, oh, we have to go to the computer. That's right. All right. So we're back out of the tire shop. Back out of the tire shop. Let's go. This is your main shop. We're going to take an air filter. And then we'll just type in uh, fuel filter here. Come on. Let's go. Things are a little slow right now. Taking a while for the... You don't have to do all of it. Just a little bit of it. There we go. Good. Got it. All right. So now if we go ahead and if we look at our car status, it shows down here... We've spent $872 on parts. But we're going to get all of that money back, as you can see in the total payout. So as long as you don't make a mistake and buy parts you don't need, you'll be, uh, you'll be, uh, you'll be good about getting all your money back. Uh, add these clips. Zoom it in. Zoom it out. Wow. Being back to level one with the uh, lack of speed is really noticeable. You zip around here. Go here. Add the fuel. Very good. Now we need to swap back to part on mount mode to do the oil plug. And there's absolutely no way whatsoever without just tipping it up, tipping it down. 
that means it's getting close or it's probably half full so I kind of splash it a little bit here I always overfill it because it's just easy you see when it comes out it's overfilled we'll back out close the hood tell the customer we're all done so we get a task bonus of nine nine hundred seventeen dollars a job bonus of four hundred seventy one dollars we get twenty three hundred and fifty one dollars and 112 uh, extra XP points so that's good now let's see let's see what's going on with this one we've got break performances all right brace break dicks discs oh my gosh <laughs> ABS manual uh, okay so let's just uh, let's just hop water in the air and do this one right away whoops let's uh, move the car here uh, up to the lifter since uh, this isn't gone as long as I thought let's just go ahead and do this one uh, let's do this one and uh, so we'll get this it just is just pretty much the things that I'll be doing after videos up until the next uh, like level five because there's oh I should have just waited uh, I can get in here with this still let's see here where's the uh, here it is ABS module we'll just take that out we might actually level up to level two Okay, close the hood. You don't have to close the hood. It won't smash up into the top or anything like that. All right, so let's get under the car here. And let's see. It says an ABS, a ventilated disc, and a brake disc. So we're going to have one disc on the front and one disc on the rear. And here's the one on the front. See, and typically, whoop, come on. When you see parts that are jacked up, they are all rusty. Um... It's not always the case. Some parts you don't even know that they're bad without taking everything apart. And that's just the way it goes. Some things just can't be identified otherwise. And up in the upper left, it tells you what condition parts are in. All right, so let's take a look. So it looks like he's riding, for whatever reason, the uh, brakes on the left are uh, being uh, used more than the brakes on the right. We don't know that. There's no real history behind it other than uh, what they tell you is wrong with it. And we can always check that right in the... We can just look here and see what he says. Uh, nope, I, get, I take it back. No, we can't. Okay, great. So we'll take that off. We'll take the disc off. Okay, so we need a disc, a module. Let's just check our inventory real quick. Yep. A disc, a ventilated disc, and a module. And I can't... <laughs> I'm so used to having the... Uh, tablet there. Alright, so we're going to wrap this one up here. We'll just click over to brakes. doesn't have a lot of options here. We need a module. We need a vented disc and a regular disc. There we go. Assemble part. All parts that uh, need to be assembled will be ghosted. There is a certain order with some things. Some things can't be uh, reattached without all of the necessary parts on there. And that's a pretty good indication that yeah, if you have a tire that you can't mount, that means you're missing something. Um, so you just might have to go back and check out to see what you're missing. And there's a way to do that too. I'll show you how that works. So if you go over here into your into your thing, you can once you've identified the parts, you can always just highlight it. You can track part and it'll highlight it in blue as to what you need to put on. In case you miss something or you tried to cheat and scamp and not get a, a, a part that's completely repairable. And even some parts that aren't required to be repaired, you still need to repair them or replace them. Because without doing that, they won't fall under that minimum level of repair and I've noticed that oftentimes if you try to send a car out that is not minimum repair even though the part doesn't show up as needing it oops what's going on here then uh, it'll kick it back and say you know it's not completely done so yeah, that'll happen okay so we'll get out of here. We'll close this down. We'll check our stats. 870 spent. 217 tasks. 217 bonus. 1304 payout. 
we're at 154 XP so let's finish that up and we got 109 XP for that one anyway so that's where we are uh, I'm going to continue to move on here to uh, the next level uh, level 5 we'll be back and we'll do another story mission then and that's typically the ones that nobody knows anything about and they've got a little bit of a story to go with so anyway I want to thank you for stopping by for this first video of Max Garage on Car Mechanic Simulator. Thanks, uh, check you later and uh, see you next video.